So in this one, the main important thing, guys, is again, writing them as our zeros. And again, I showed you guys an example here. And just to kind of speed up time, we sh hopefully, the reason why I told you we've practiced writing linear factorization so many times is you guys should feel, start to get pretty comfortable. When given the zeros, write them as their factors, right? Write, that, write these as linear factorization. OK, that's x minus 3 multiplicity of 2. And then this is just going to be x minus i squared of 2, x plus i squared of 2. Is everybody OK with how I get from there to there? If not, all you do is set each of yours equal to x and then set them equal to 0. And then that is your factor. And you just do it with those two as well, OK? x equals i square root of 2, subtract it. x minus i square root of 2 equals 0. That's another factor, right? But it kind of gets boring when I have to keep on doing that. You guys hopefully should just start being able to see that in your head. Oh, you're just doing inverse operations. You're basically just doing the inverse operation of each of those factors to get to your factors. OK, so now where the really fun stuff happens is the multiplying. That's what we're here for is the multiplying with the imaginary numbers. So we've done enough of these. It's binomial squared. x squared minus 6x plus 9. Do FOIL if you still need to. Okay. Then here, notice, guys, this is a difference of two squares. First terms are the same. Last terms are the same. Alternating signs. So I don't need to multiply everything times everything. I just need to multiply my first two terms, multiply my last two terms. If you're confused, multiply every term by multiply everything by distributive property or FOIL. And what you'll see is the middle terms will, are going to add to 0. So if I just multiply my first two terms, I get x squared. Now this is where it gets a little fun. Negative i times square root of 2 times positive i square root of 2. You'll get the answer eventually. Let's just do everything individually. Negative i times positive i is negative i squared. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to be the square root of 2 squared. But in reality, guys, you'll, you'll notice it's the same pattern happening over and over again. Guys, what was i squared represented equal as? Negative 1. OK, so that really wasn't that bad. And the square root of 2 squared, square root and, and squaring are inverse operations, right? 2. two. So we're really just left with x squared minus 6x plus 9 times x squared plus 2. Now we just need to multiply this. So I'm just going to use uh, just FOIL. So I'm going to multiply the x squared times everything. So x squared minus 6. I'm oh, sorry, that's x cubed. No, I'm sorry, that's x to the fourth, right? x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. That's x to the cubed plus 9 x squared. Then I multiply 2 times everything plus 2 x squared minus 6 x plus, no, it's 12x, jeez, oh man, plus 18. And then last but not least, I will just combine my like terms. OK, and done. Oh, man. Um, I got to do one of these problems, guys. I hate doing problems at the end of the class period, but 